Hi, I'm Daphne Richards and this is Augie. This week, let's revisit a question we got a while back and get an update on John's live oak tree that was losing leaves. John followed our recommendation to check with a certified arborist who could examine the tree on site. And it turns out that the problem is Ganoderma fungus. The arborist thinks that the tree was struck by lightning a few years back, causing stress that allowed the fungus to thrive. Since the arborist also notes that 70% of the roots are damaged, the large tree is a safety hazard, and John didn't hesitate to have it removed, as sad as it is to lose it. John's situation illustrates just how important it is to have tree problems inspected by a certified arborist, especially when dealing with large, mature trees. We've also gotten several questions from several viewers about young hot pepper plants being stripped of leaves in the night. What could be causing this? Alejandra Rodriguez Bouton at La Flaca Urban Gardens had the answer, roof rats. They simply love young hot pepper leaves, so now she protects them until they're a little bigger. Our plant this week is a little different and isn't exactly a recommendation, but is one that many Central Texans share and one that we get lots of questions about. What are all these seedlings coming up in Lindsay Heron's yard? This winter, Lindsay had an old hackberry cut down, so many of these seedlings may actually be root suckers. Hackberries are prolific reseeders and prone to suckering, so now new ones are popping up all over. The best thing to do is to pull them out while they're as small as possible. Moist soil makes this a lot easier, so irrigate the area the day before. Be sure to dig down below the seedling to loosen the soil, which will make it much easier to get as much of the plant as possible. Even still, the seedlings may break when you tug on them. If this is the case, watch for the plant to regrow, then try again. You can also cut the seedlings each time they re-sprout or even mow them if you're able to. Sugar hackberries do not give up easily, so you'll need to keep fighting them until you finally win. This process may take years, but if you're vigilant, you can do it, Lindsay. Our viewer picture is thanks to Erica, who sent a picture of her mom's new rose bed in Fayette County. Her mom, Agnes Ficus, bordered the bed with limestones, topped it with pine straw, and added cute garden art and a bird bath for a beautiful little island. We'd love to hear from you. Head over to klru.org to send us your questions, pictures, and video.